Hello friends, hope you are doing well and welcome back to my channel No Attack Videos and this is the another video of Windows Server 2022 series and in this video I will demonstrate how to do the system state backup of Active Directory so this is very good feature by using system state backup we can create the backup of active directory core components so before demonstration let's check it out and understand what is system state backup so i have some notes about what is system state backup in active directory so as per Microsoft in Active Directory AD, the system state refers to a collection of critical system components and data that are essential for the functioning of the AD environment. SSB or system state backup in Active Directory involves backing up these crucial components and data to ensure that in the event of a disaster or system failure the AD environment can be restored to a functional state. The system state backup typically includes the following components. So we will discuss here the core component of SSP. We call system state backup as SSP sometimes. So if we if we are performing the SSP, what are the components which will be backed up? In the process of system state backup. So as we know Active Directory database we call it as ntds.dit this is the core file or the core component of Active Directory. Now, this database contains all the directory data for the Active Directory domain. Second Active Directory system files. So in SSB these files include the registry keys necessary for the functioning of Active Directory such as system, software, security, SAM and NTDS registry hives. Also it contains syswall. This is a shared folder that stores group policy objects and scripts. The fourth component of SSB is Certificate Services Database. So if, if Certificate Services are installed, their database is included in the system state backup. Cluster Server Information. If Active Directory is running on a cluster environment, cluster service information is also part of system state backup. The sixth option boot files so critical boot files necessary for starting the operating system so these six components which are captured while we perform the system state backup system state backup in active directory is crucial for several several regions so when can we do or when can we perform the system state backup and what are the advantage for this system state backup. So first one that is disaster recovery. So in the event of hardware failure, data corruption, accidental deletion or other disaster having a system state backup enables administrators to restore the active directory environment to a previous functional state minimizing downtime and data loss also it has 
the rollback rollback capability system state backup provides a rollback rollback capability allowing system allowing administrators to revert the active directory environment to a non good state if changes or updates cause unexpected issues the third third reason uh, for system state backup is domain controller recovery so system state backups are essential for recovering individual domain controllers or the entire active directory forest in case of catastrophic failures forest recovery so this is another region to have system state backup forest recovery so in scenarios where the entire active directory forest is compromised or needs to be rebuilt system state backup plays a critical role in restoring the entire ad infrastructure so this is very core service to have the system state backup so in summary system state backup in active directory is very crucial and essential for ensuring the resilience and recoverability of ad environment safeguarding against data loss and enabling efficient disaster recovery procedures so hope you understood understood what is ssp and why we need it let's proceed to perform the system state back backup on a domain controller so i have an environment where i have the domain controller 1 so the computer name that is test dc1 and the domain that is test dot local and i'm going to perform the system state backup on this server and keeping it to any network location so that in case of disk failure or any issues with this domain controller i should be in the position to restore the complete forest or the active directory database from the backup it is also recommended to perform the system state backup on the server where we have placed fsmo roles just to showcase where our roles are so on this server itself i have placed all the all five fsmo roles to check the fsmo roles on the domain controller we will use the command netdom query fsmo a test i have on dc1 this is the same server just to check host name so as you see test i have on dc1 this is the same machine where i am going to perform the system state backup but the key requirement is a network share so let's go ahead on the dc2 so this on this server i want to place my backup so i'm going to create a network share create folder ssb and i'm going to share it sharing share for now i'll enable for ganesh r or you can assign the permissions whoever is the backup administrator or the domain administrator is so 
share and permissions are already given let's check the security Ganesh R is having the full access everyone having the share permissions on it so this is fine and the path is test hyphen dc ssv so let's go back to the dc one and to perform the system state backup this is the feature need to be installed if not already installed go to the manage add Roles and features, installation, server selections, and skip the server roles installment. And we can select the feature from here. Next, and install it. So the feature is installed. Now let's close this wizard and go to the tools once again. and select windows server backup and click on the local backup it will check out if there is any previous backup available on this server so there is no backup scheduled To schedule a new backup, let's click on backup schedule. Next, and we are not taking the full server backup, we'll go with custom. And in the next, select item for the backup, add item. And here, as you see, system state, just click on this. Click OK and click on Next. Next. So once a day that is signed with me, if you have more schedules, if you want to perform the same backup or the SSB backup uh, more times in a day, then you can select the timing, what time you want to do it. So in my case, once in a day, that is more than sufficient. And click on next. And this is asking for the destination where we want to store the SSV backup. So in our case, it is always recommended to have this backup on the network share, or we can select the hard drive as well and the dedicated hard drive or also we can keep the backup on the volume which is connected to the same server so we selected the third option backup to a shared network folder click on next there is a warning when you use a remote shared folder as the storage destination for the scheduled backups each backup will erase the previous backup and only the latest backup will be available that's fine so it is asking it will keep only one copy of the backup and the previous backup will be erased automatically so as we seen this is my share folder path test i have on dc ssv test i have on dc1 ssb click on next there is some issue i think with the network let me check it out oh, it's my bad uh, so this is on dc2 
inherit okay so this is the path ssp click on next prompting for credentials this is my domain and administrator enter the password okay and finish so this is going to create uh, the backup Successfully created and close. So the schedule is done, and now let's back it up. Schedule backup once, system state or backup. So backup is started. Once the backup is com completed, we will validate the files. So it will take the backup of all, of all key components of Active Directory and save it to the DC2 or the network location. So this is just a scheduled and if you want to do the backup only once then we can select from the action second one second item backup once it's copying the files 268 files are copied let's go to the DC2 here is the location and as you see the backup belongs to dc1 test iphone dc1 and if the files are getting created now so it might take some time until then i just watch the video and once the backup is completed i'll resume so the backup is completed now. Let's close the wizard. And the last backup that is successful, as we see in the description. So that's it in this video. In the next video, we will understand or learn how to restore the object from the backup but before we wind up let me show you something on the active directory so the backup we have taken for the current uh, active directory users and computers from the domain here so we have the blr OU and we can see there are two accounts in, in it so we will delete client 1 client 2 and client 3 and while we are restoring from the backup these two accounts must be restore from the backup so this way we can delete or by mistake if anything is deleted so we can perform the ssv backup so that's it in this video let's catch up in the next video thanks for watching